It's Madden NFL 22, and tonight's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the Panthers and the Texans coming up next. On a muggy night here in Houston, Texas, it's a perfect 72 degrees inside NRG Stadium. They do it big here in Houston, and a second ago, it was a Texas-sized welcome for their hometown guys. They're fired up and ready to go as they get set to match up with the Carolina Panthers. Brandon Gard alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. And CD, our quarterbacks, taking center stage here for each of their respective offenses. Sam Darnold of the Panthers, Davis Mills of the Texans. And I think that each quarterback wants to play this game with a faster tempo. They want to get the plays in quickly, get in and out of the huddle quickly, take just a few seconds of the line of scrimmage and survey the defense, and then attack. And I think that we'll see both offenses try to do that in this one. Too deep. Here comes a return. And he'll be dropped at the 21 yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Well, the Panther offense ready to go for their first possession. And at the helm, you see him in his first year in Carolina after three with the Jets. It's Sam Darnold. I love how he exploded on the national scene his redshirt freshman year when at the beginning of the season he was not named the starting quarterback. But when USC was struggling, he got an opportunity. And by the end of the year, the Rose Bowl MVP and epic shootout with Penn State and put him on the NFL radar in a big way. On first down, Darnold. Throwing the out and they get right into the game. Throwing again on second down, Darnold. Being chased out left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. That one good for 16 as the drive continues. Now Darnold. He gets it to Thomas. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. First carry for Christian McCaffrey. Runs through the contact. It's a six-yard pickup. Now it's Darnold. And he will find the open man. It's DJ Moore. Darnold on target to Moore for the Panther first. Everyone in 2020 in yards per reception. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. He'll be hit down at the 33. Five yards on the play. Brandon, five yards. Third down. Darnold from the gun. Found his target, it's Anderson. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he hits on the slant route to Marshall. And the Panthers are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. 11 more on that one and another. For and fourth, fourth and goal. And here we go on fourth. Darnold. 
And it'll be caught in the end zone for the Carolina touchdown by D.J. Moore. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Panthers take it right down and score on the opening drive. Many would call that a gutsy decision here early on to go for it fourth and goal. There was no hesitation. Field goal unit never sniffed the field. It was a message. And the message was, I trust you on offense. Go out and make this happen. Go ahead and pick it up. And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed. And I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds. And obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. After review of the play, ruling on the field stands. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. Zane Gonzalez on for the extra point. And this will be good to give the Panthers a 7 to nothing lead. That one was an extended drive. 14 plays all told. And Carolina scores to cap it off. Yard line as he's dropped at the 23. About to get our first look at this Texans offense as they're led out by Davis Mills, their rookie quarterback, selected in the third round from Stanford. What I enjoyed this week is that you asked to talk to his offensive center before the game and find out a little bit more about him and what the relationship is. And that was a pretty positive story, wasn't it? Yeah, and really what I took away from that is just how it has permeated throughout the entire offensive line, the relationship they've had. It's really a group that's in sync. They care about him. That's the thing they really care and when you care that much you're going to play that much harder for him and give him a better chance to lead the team to wins Ingram gonna get it on the option and he got blown up on that play back at the 20 that's gonna wind up a loss of a full set here defensively six DBs in the game throwing Mills Mills can't get away, and down he goes. Hassan Reddick drops him for a loss of 20. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Here's McCaffrey. Oh, nice move. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 46 yards now on the ground. I just... Draw play. Darnold giving to McCaffrey. And they've got it in the red zone now. Down. Darnold. And then... Gonzalez's kick is good. And the lead moves to 10 zip. So a touchdown on their opening drive and three more here, and it adds to their first quarter lead. Yeah, everything's going according to plan so far because the offense has moved the ball. Defense. Watch the curl, watch the curl, watch the curl. Mike Seven. Go. You must be, you must be getting They begin the drive with Johnson. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a back into this game. Back to the ground, this time with Ingram. Fighting through the tackle at the 30. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. Here's Mills. Mills can't get away, and down he goes. Texans needing to navigate a third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's caught by his tight end, Jordan Akins. He'll get 17 back there, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. On first and 10, Darnold. He's going to air one out for Anderson. It's caught inside the 25. And he'll finally be taken down, but he gets inside the Houston 20. That's wow. 
On first down, this is McCaffrey. The ball's out. McCaffrey lost it. And the Texans scoop it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football, and they still find ways to knock it free. with every potential turnover. They're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. The previous play is under review. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that challenge, a successful one. The fumble on first down, now here's second down. So following the fumble recovery, here's Darnold. Throw left side complete. That's Arnold. And down in for three thus far. Here it's third and two. Here's Darnold. Buying time to his left. And he will slide to a stop. He Here we go now. Fourth and goal from the two. They snap it. They're going for it. Here's Darnold. That is caught. It's Anderson. Touchdown, Panthers. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Panthers add on to their lead. The PAT. He's got it, and it's 17-0. A drive that time of six plays. And the end result, a Panthers touchdown. On play action, Mills. That's complete to the tight end, Akins. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. So, it's so pretty, <laughs> and it gets you nothing. <laughs> Looking to throw is Mills. And that will be in. to be a holding penalty. So all you're trying to do is make some type of a play on him, make some type of contact to try and get his arms out of the sky. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard. First down, Mills. Mills can't get away, and down he goes. Third and long for Mills. He's going to go deep for Conley. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good lineup. This is third and eight. Here's Darnold. And he'll air this one deep for Anderson. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. The line did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. On second and nine, Mills. Mills can't get away, and down he goes. Shaq Thompson making his presence felt on the sack. So that and long. Mills now. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And this is in. A lot ready. May not run past you because of his size. You're talking about a guy weighing in the 270 range. But boy, once he gets his mitts on the ball, he's going to be tough to bring down. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a... We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. Darnold completes it. Gets past one man. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Now Darnold. And that is in. They need a big adjustment here to try and put some points on the board. 
Mills now looks to throw on first down. They go screen. This is Ingram. And he'll get this up past the... And they did so there, and they wind up picking up positive yardage. To throw again on second down. Mills. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40. And they'll throw again. Here's Mills. Mills can't get away, and down he goes. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Another try after the first down sack. Mills. He's letting it fly for Cooks. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Houston. Brandon Cooks, 73 yards. And the Texans are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. And it's 17 7. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it results in the Texans finding the end zone. Texans down on the scoreboard, but they do get the first crack here as we are back underway in the second half. Taken at the goal line. Let's go, baby! Let's go! Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. What can they do now, Charles, to make sure this highlight montage doesn't continue to show more pressure and pressure and pressure? You feel like it always comes back to leverage, don't you? Who is going to win that battle of the offensive and defensive lines? Low man wins, we talk about that, but we think about it in a running game. Well, guess what? The same thing happens when you're trying to pass protect. Are you low? Are you balanced? Are you in a position where the pass rush won't bowl you over on their way back to the quarterback? They've got to reestablish that in order to try and keep their man upright. Because they have been bowled over a lot so far in this one. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. Throw right side into the hands of Akins. And he'll get this. Good plays have him on the move on first down. Mills on first down. Mills can't get away, and down he goes. Brian Burns. In bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Mills. They'll get nine there as that's... Mills from the gun on third down. He's going to drop this underneath to Ingram. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. First and 10 at the 41. Throwing Mills. Caught here by Conley. A gain of six there on first. On second down, it's Ingram. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. But they've certainly been successful throwing it around in this. Oh, that's football for me. Mills to throw it. Under pressure and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. That means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Mills. He'll check this down to Johnson. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. He did his 10 as cornerbacks. Greg Rousseau is a pass rusher with the Buffalo Bills. And that's where I'm going with my defensive rookie of the year. Greg Rousseau, double-digit sacks as a rookie, powers the Bills back to another big playoff. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And down to the 11. Let's go, fellas. Complete to Robbie Anderson. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down well short of the first at about the A 26-yard attempt. 
Gonzalez's kick is good. And that will open the lead up now to 20 to 7. So the lead grows here incrementally, but I think the way their defense is playing, you feel okay with just getting three. They definitely. First down, Mills. Mills can't get away, and down he goes. Daquan Jones coming. On field, they've got to have points, and the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. Now the throw pulled in by Anderson. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. Big play here, third and 10. Here's Darnold. Found his target. It's Anderson. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses. Out of the shotgun. Here's Darnold. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Arnold. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Gonzalez's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. A second field goal here this third quarter in his third of the game so far. He's been an important part of the offense, that's for sure. And they may need him again before this one's said and done. So I would treat him like a... Going in the excitement area. A first down throw for Mills. Staying on his feet, but now he's swallowed up and taken down. Hassan Reddick, he's the one. Throwing on second and long. Mills, that's complete to the tight end, Akins. And he'll go as they come up on third down. From the shotgun, it's Mills. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Brown. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down convert. Throwing again on second down. Mills. Don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Mills can't get away, and down he goes. Hassan Reddick is long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Mills. And that's complete to Cooks. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Mills now from the 50. And he's got Amendola on the connection. Yeah, boy. One yard? Yeah, you, plays like that, you at least expect a first down there, just one yard. Throwing here on third down, Darnold. And a On third down, here's Mills. Mills can't get away, and down he goes. DB, rooting for the wide receivers. On first down, Darnold. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 28 start the drive, but nothing since. Darnold. And that's going to be incomplete. The Gonzalez's kick is good. And that will make this now a 19-point advantage. So that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. But you know, normally I'd get on you for giving up on six. Mills now. Screenplay, Johnson. And they'll get him down about. Set him back five. Still fourth down. Going for it on fourth and eight. Fourth down, Mills. 
He's letting it fly for Cooks. And able to catch it, but he's out of bounds. From the gun on third down, here's Darnold. Flushed out right. This is caught. Touchdown, Panthers. DJ Moore on the touchdown throw from Sam Darnold. And the Panthers add on to their lead. And the extra point. And that will bump the lead up to 26. The drive there only spanning three plays. And Carolina scores to cap it off. Come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Here's Mills. Man open left side is Brown. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A sizable... A first down throw for Mills. He sets to fire deep. And this is going to be intercepted. Jeremy Chin picks it off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The road drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Uh -huh. really opens things up for you. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. Oh, an absolutely filthy juke. He's got some space now. And this is going to be a Panthers first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. A strong pickup. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. We got set. 51. Come on. So this one is over, a victory for Carolina. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half, the adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out.